applicable to other areas. So you know, what, one thing I saw many times in the programming language courses I've been involved with is that students would learn some technique like a program transformation that's broadly applicable, but they would focus on the fact that we applied it to this one particular example, right? Right. And they wouldn't so necessarily recognize on. later. Yeah, they'd get fixated on that, not, that example, and they wouldn't really reflect on the fact that this is a general technique. And, yeah. and uh, we, we didn't really do very well in that area. I was wondering if you have any ideas about that from a reflection standpoint. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I would say that one of the nice things that, um, uh, that reflection gives you a chance to do is encourage your students to make these kinds of connections, or at least consider them in the first place. Because I think um, there is a tendency for students to pick up on the wrong cues, so to speak, and say, well, that, that was in, you know, that was in small thoughts, so that's not going to, that's not going to matter here, right? Um, whereas, in fact, the, the concept holds true in the context of the, the new context that they're working in. And, you know, encouraging them to spend a little more time than that, than that snap judgment um, by saying, well, no, hang on, like, does this remind you of anything you've learned before? Right? And that's a question that's broad enough that it's not asking them to commit to, yes, this is directly applicable, I had, I took this course, and, and um, opening it up like that for a moment might actually be a helpful way of um, getting students to, uh, to dig back and, and more broadly consider what the present task or learning might be related to. And I've had like these fantastic experiences with students in a, in a portfolio uh, construction program that we did where um, we had engineering students who were further along, so upper level engineering undergraduates, construct portfolios where they um, choose a set of uh, competencies that they feel that they've gained throughout their uh, educational career and provide some evidence for um, evidence and discussion to back that up. So a student who says, for example, um, I feel like I've developed really strong leadership skills. Um, we had a brainstorming phase where they were where they would ask to reflect back all the way back to high school, like even further back if they wanted, um, to to see if they thought about if they thought of experiences where they might have gained um, or built up some leadership skills. And students surprised themselves even in recognizing anew that an experience that they had written off as unrelated to engineering or engineering professional development is something that they recognize now as, uh, as an important early opportunity for them to develop a competency. And, and I, think, I think I could imagine a variety of analogs in the more, um, in this more conceptual space that, that, that we were talking about in this example. 